Okay, I'm Mike Rochester and thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And what we're going to do today is we are going to tighten up the brakes, the mechanical brakes on the Hemiway Cruiser because we certainly want to make sure that we are riding safe. So you can see the brakes are real squishy and actually come right down to the handle. That's not what we want. We want to at least have a couple fingers in there of space before it touches the hand grip. So let's go ahead and get started and show you what to do. I wanna let you know that I am not a mechanic, an e-bike mechanic or anything and do not claim to. This is just how I um, tighten my brakes. So we don't want the brakes touching the hand grips. They're way too squishy here. So what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to tighten them up. So there's a couple different adjustments we're gonna be doing. First, we're gonna take this barrel nut and tighten it down all the way so when we tighten everything up, we can use this for like an adjustment later. Cause the further out you unscrew this, the tighter it makes the grip. Unfortunately, this is all too loose. So to start off, um, we're going to adjust this and screw it in so it's back to a starting point. We're gonna pull the tension off of this cable and make sure this barrel nut also is tightened down um, all the way. So that's another adjustment that could be made in the field after the brakes are done. If they start to stretch a little, you can kind of pull this out to tighten them up a little bit. And then last but not least, we're going to loosen these two bolts here so that we can um, press our handbrake down. We're gonna press our handbrake down and then tighten them back up so that it centers the brake on the disc, okay? So those are the adjustments we're gonna do. So uh, let's get started. Very first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, barrel nut um, and we're gonna tighten it right up so that it's at its starting point. And then we'll just, uh, the reason we're doing this is because when you're riding the bike, if um, you're using your brakes regularly and in the field while you're out riding, if they start to get a little mushy, as you unscrew this barrel nut, it picks up some of that tension and, uh, and makes a fine tune adjustment without having to have uh, any tools with you to do major adjustments. So that kind of is, uh, is strictly just for a small adjustment in the field. So we're gonna get it down to the starting point. So we're gonna screw that all the way in. And then we're also gonna make sure that the uh, barrel nut down here is tightened down all the way as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, tighten that down. So that's our first step. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do now is pick up the slack of this wire through the brake caliper by loosening up the screw and um, tightening it up. So we're just gonna loosen this screw here. We're going to pull back as far as we can go. And then we're gonna let it go forward a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. So we basically we basically loosened it, pulled this up, backed it off a little and tightened it down. What that'll do is it'll make this brake lever now nice and tight. So you can see we picked up all the slack and that's actually pretty good. But we can make some fine adjustments here by backing this off to maybe give it a little bit more distance between the two. That's pretty good. I wouldn't like this wire to be a little bit shorter, but um, I don't have any of these little ends and I don't want it to start getting frayed. So for now, I'm just gonna kinda pull it back to the other side here just to keep it away from my brakes. I think it's still short enough that, well, actually it could gonna get caught up in something here, which wouldn't be good. So for now, I'm just gonna kinda tuck it over here. And I'll probably take care of that, cut it down to about here, and then grab some end caps uh, to crimp on the end so the wire doesn't fray up. But uh, I'll do that this week. 
So now we're gonna loosen up these mounting screws. These mounting screws align the brake to the rotor. So we're just gonna loosen them up enough so that when we um, pull down on the brakes, we're able to center them up. Okay, next on this inner pad adjustment, we're gonna want to uh, tighten that down all the way to the right, which is counterclockwise, and then back it off a couple clicks, maybe about a quarter of a turn, and uh, we'll use that as our starting point. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down on the handbrake and then tighten up these two bolts. So by holding this at the same time we're tightening them up, that's what's going to uh, adjust the brakes for us. So we definitely wanna make sure we're holding this because we're doing the front brake. I'm kinda of close to the tire here, so I can actually reach both. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how that happens. Because my arms are kinda of long, I can hold down on the brake and then come down here and go ahead and tighten up these bolts. I'll tighten down a little bit tighter. Now that the brakes are tightened down and the caliper should be lined up to the um, brake pads, I'll go ahead and um, release the brake. Okay, now that that adjustments have been made, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our tire is not scraping anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick it up, spin it. And wow, no scraping. That's perfect. So uh, it's as simple as that. So now you can see that our brake tightens up right about here and it no longer touches the hand grip and there's some nice uh, tension there. Okay, and as easy as that, our brakes are fine tuned. Repeat this process on the back side. If you don't have anyone there because you can't hold the brake while you're making the adjustment, you can tie it with a piece of string, a bungee cord, um, some kind of clamp to hold it while you're uh, working the back brakes, but it's that simple. So thanks for watching and uh, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, ride safe and have fun. See ya.